Then listen for your answer on the McDivitt Minute. The McDivitt Minute, every Monday afternoon at 445 on Mountain Country. How about that? Free legal advice from Mountain Country and McDivitt? Well, you can't beat that. McDivitt. I just wanted to say it. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> it's time for this day in country music history this morning. Happy cold Thursday, January the 20th. We're going to take a look back. Brought to you by Rock and Bee Feed and Supply. Corner of Black Forest and Shoop Road. Animals feed your soul. They feed your animals. 1959, George Jones released his sixth studio album. It was called Country Church, and it was a gospel album. Oh. I didn't know George Jones did gospel, but he there did you it all. It. He did it all. Celebrating a birthday today. If you were born on this, the 20th day of January. Inauguration Day, Danville, Kentucky brought us John Michael Montgomery. So, oh. well, all right. Yes. And one day after her birthday, 1979, Dolly Parton was number one on the country charts with Baby I'm Burning. She celebrated 76 years yesterday. I love Dolly Parton. Well, of course. Who does? Another birthday to celebrate today, 1985, Brantley Gilbert. So, there you have it, 1985. There's no way, Alabama. It went to number one. Mm, no right. surprise there. That one. And we're going to go all the way back, Dave, to 2016. What was number one then? That was Tim McGraw, and he released Humble and Kind. Oh, that was a good song. That's such a good meaning. And remember, the Spanish version was really good, too. And you could have sworn Tim was directly from, F- from, from, from the Tijuana. Heart of Mexico. Yes, <laughs> yeah, from Mexico City, born and raised. He is right. so fluent. There you have it this day in country music history.